Okay, I'm going to go over, I thought I'd go a little bit more in depth and go over uh, basically viewing, importing, exporting, and making changes to files uh, in hacks for Neverwinter Nights. So, looking at NW uh, Hack, um, NW Explorer, and Notepad, but going just a little bit more depth than what we did in the first video. So, basically, like I said before, NW Hack is found in your Neverwinter Nights Utilities folder. So, if you open up your Neverwinter Nights folder, go to Utilities, you'll find it right there. Open it up. And now um, you've got uh, different options here. You can add, you can open new. We're going to open an existing hack. So if you just go on uh, NW, or go to Neverwinter Vault and was to download a hack, uh, you'd want to put it in your hack folder. And then if you want to manipulate it or change it, you would just go in here, pick the hack, open. Now that's opening it in um, NW Hack here. And then at this point, if you look over here, you'll see different types. So, like a 2DA, um, an ITP, a model. Um, you can't view it using NW Hack, but you can see all the files. Now we can export. So, if I got it on this uh, right here, see, I can hit export. Um, let's create a folder over here. Just, we'll just call it uh, testing or test test and I'm going to pick say a 2DA export it to uh, desk, well, desktop and test so I export that um, we'll export a model. Export. Um, desktop. Test. Okay, so I did a, a 2D8 and a model. Now, if we wanted to re add them, we just go to where they were. Desktop. And go to test. And there they are. And if we clicked it, we can hit uh, open. Was already found. Do we want to override it? Yes. So then you override it. So if you made changes, that's what there are changes to that you do. So add, you can remove. So if you want to click on something and you want to hit remove it, you can remove it. Um, export it. Um, and then of course save. And you can save it as what you want or save as. So that's pretty much the extent of what you can do with uh, NW Hack. Now, that being said, we'll move on to uh, NW Explorer. With NW Explorer, we can do just a little bit more. Let's see. Well, uh, the NW server is not working right now or in or never went vault it's not working for me right this moment so anyhow but you go to nw vault you would download nw explorer never went vault and download nw explorer right here's the link uh once you download it you put it on your computer you open it up now what you'll need to do is go up here go to options look in folder and then sh specify where your neverwinter nights folder is so you sync it up with it and then once you do that then you'll be able to then you restart it close it out restart it and then when you open it back up again you'll be able to get in here and get to your neverwinter nights files so as you see it says neverwinter night main data shadows of underdark or shadows of undertitlement Hordes of Underdark, Hordes of Underdark patch, 1.69 patch, um, and so on. But if you click on uh, any of these, it'll come down. So you see these are 2DAs. 2DAs has to do with like game stuff, so say um, appearance. So you have a badger, and it says what model it's calling for. There's a lot more information under there, but not all 2DAs have that much information. 
Um, here's an armor one. Um, try to find uh, a couple of the class studio. So it has all your different classes and have information for each column for different things for it. But you can't make changes to this in here. It's just a viewer. So I'm clicking. I can't make any changes to it though. Um, let's see. There's a couple others in here like feats. Um, I mean a couple others. There's a ton. Companions. Familiars. There's a 2DA for tons of stuff for the Neverwinter Nights. And you can't make changes in here, but it, this allows you to view it. It's no different than the NW Hack, except for the NW Hack didn't have this window here to view. You just export and import the files. This allows you to view the files, which is nice. Um, let's go to, say, this is TTF, which is uh, Tile Set Terrain Forced. This is TTR, so Tile Set Terrain Royal. Um, this is TIC, so it would be Tile Set Interior City. So it's abbreviations, the last abbreviation, so it gives you an idea of what it is. But we'll go to, say, the forest one. or not, not, Yeah, we'll go to the forest one. And if you want to go to information, see, here's your dot set file. All the information in your dot set file that you need. And then you have... Um, Let's see. We'll go over these a little bit more in depth when we get on the tile sets. But uh, let's go models. So if you click on it, then we'll see a 3D model. And then if we want to see the text version of that, you scroll in and out, use your mouse to rotate it. But that's a, a, a tile for a cliff. You know, whatever it is, there's another one. So. Um, that being said, if you want to see the text version part of it, right here it is. Uh, it's this tab here, the ASCII model, or you have the model which view the actual image. Uh, the image is displaying the textures on it. You can export this. It allow you to export. You cannot import using NWN Explorer. NWA Explorer lets you look at it. It'll let you export. It will not allow you to edit, and it will not allow you to import. So um, that's the downside to it. But the upside is it's, it's got this nice viewing window, which really is nice to, to use. Um, that being said, so there's your models. Now, the other thing is textures. So like here, uh, or maybe here even. TGA textures, okay, textures right here. So it'll let you view your textures as well, which is nice. Um, I was looking to see if there was any, I don't see any at the moment, but there's also textures, don't, they're in TGA format here, as you see, or sometimes they're in uh, DDS. Now, if it's in DDS, you can right click and export it as a TG, TGA. By exporting a, a DDS as a TGA, then it's easier to work with in the paint programs, which I'll go over some of those paint programs here in a little bit in another video. But basically, that's uh, exporting uh, and viewing using NW Explorer. Uh, and now we'll go ahead and close that. And the next thing we wanted to go over was Notepad. Notepad is, it, I mean, just about any Notepad would probably work. Windows comes with one already. Linux, I can't remember if it comes with one. I mean, well, probably depending on the Linux, if you use uh, like Arch or something, you're going to have to install a lot of your own stuff. But I'm sure most of the basic packages have some type of uh, Notepad. Um, that being said, we'll open up the folder I had test in it. So this is a model. And let's see, it's not going to allow me. So I'm going to select the program myself. And I'm going to select Notepad to open it up with. And this is the text. When I switch to the A right here, I switch to that ASCII in the in, um, Explorer, in the NWN Explorer. It showed me this text. Uh, but now, since I got it in Notepad, I can actually edit things. So. 
Um, for example, I haven't edited a ton of stuff in here, but I have edited things like bitmap. Where you see it says bitmapper here. That's a texture it's calling for. So here's the name of the texture. So if you wanted to change for the model that this is under, one of the objects inside that model is calling for this texture. So if you was to change this to a name of a different texture, then that would change the texture on that model. Um, but other than that, that's uh, that's where we are with most of the. Uh, it's depending on the size of the model, depending on what all you you're going to do there. But then you can save it uh, once you make changes to it. You can let's open up the next one, which was the Edge 2DA. So these are like the 2DAs where the class and the companions and all that that I've shown you. But now since we've got Notepad, we can actually make changes to it. So if I wanted to do whatever, you know, make any type of change to it, you could. Once you've made those changes, you can then uh, save it. And once you've saved, now if we say we made changes to this and or our model, and now we wanted to put them back in the hack that we had before, right? Or in a new hack even. So we could, and I'm not going to save it though, but we could bring up NW, uh, or NW hack, which is in our utilities folder. There's the hack. And let's say we, if we wanted to, we can open a new, um, uh, it's going back to the folder where I had it in, so let's go back to Neverwinter Nights uh, Games, Neverwinter Nights Hacks. Uh, okay, so just use an example. Uh, grab one here. Okay, and so this has all the hacks in it. Now, if we wanted to add to them, we hit Add, and we'd pick um, the ones we wanted. And they're in the test folder, which means we'd have to go to um, desktop and test. And we can grab these to open and we can add them in there. I'm not going to do it, but you, once you add them in there, then you just go and hit save. Okay. Let's do a new one, though. So this is new, so it's not a hack yet. We're going to add because we made changes to these two things and that's all we're really planning on doing right now we're going to add those so they're in this now we're starting to create a hack it's got a model on it it's got a 2da it could just be a 2da it could just be a texture if that's what you're changing whatever uh then you go up here and you hit save as and you type in what you want to call it you know uh, we'll say t tos underscore um Royal or yeah, Royal Override, something like that. Okay, and then you save it in your hack folder. So you'd have to go to where Neverwinter Nights is, find your Neverwinter Nights folder, you find the hack folder, and you'd save it in there. Once you then that'd be a, a hack that you can use for the game. So that pretty much covers. We've covered. Uh, NW hack where to find it, how to open it, how to open hacks, how to export hacks, how to import, or I mean, how to export files, how to import files, how to add files, how to save uh, the hack. We've went over NW Explorer, um, where to get it, which is NW Vault, uh, our Neverwinter Vault, um, how to sync it to Neverwinter Nights folder, how to open the hacks, how to view files, view models, view textures. Um, export files and export as TGAs. We went over all that. Um, notepad. We went open. Oh, there's one thing I didn't show you in Notepad that I wanted to show you real quick. So let's do that. Uh, let's say we got this. Well, that's, that's not a good one. This is a better one. Okay. Now let's say this is a bitmap, right? Copy. So. Let's say we don't know where that's at, but we're like, oh man, we need to find that texture. So if you go edit and you go find and you use a paste the name of the texture in there that you're looking for. And we're going to go down since we're at the top of the page. We're going to go down. So hit find. Bam. It takes us right to it. See it highlight down there. 
So it found it for us and we don't have to search through all this text trying to find what we're looking for. And it's a nice option or a nice uh, tool or option they give you for that. But uh, and help you search and find it. So whenever finding uh, what we need to in there and making changes. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this will help you guys out to get started and uh, opening hacks, viewing hacks, uh, adding to hacks, making changes. Um, but like I said, hopefully this will be useful and I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks.